Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best hand sanders, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Makita Cordless 5 inches hand sander with random orbit motion, XOB01Z. XOB01Z from Makita is the best for cordless options as a hand sander. Using in off grid locations and cable free applications, this one is the most reliable for its long battery life. With one charge, it runs up to 40 minutes straight. You just have to insert a high quality lithium ion battery to make it work. You can choose from three speed settings for using different materials or for different tasks. It is a 5-inch sander and takes only hook and loop abrasive papers with 8 holes. The dust is extracted through the holes, and the performance is quite satisfactory. It delivers a virtually swirl-free finish because of its large 1 8 3 mm sanding stroke. Now, the negative side of this model is its added weight. For the added weight fronty batteries, it seems slower and heavier to operate. It only bothers operators with small body frames. However, the final results you will get from it will be a smooth and seamless surface. The apparently slow speed does not impact on its cutting power. Moving on at number 4, we have the Black Plus Decker Random Orbit Hand Sander, BDER-0100. The mechanism of this Black Plus Decker orbital sander is quite basic and simple. You just stick the paper and run the machine on any surface. From fiberglass, metal, wood, any rusty or bumpy surface can be scraped off from paint, smooth out and buffer for polishing using this one little beast. The best part is, it is super cheap compared to hand sanders from renowned brands. To work with this cheap orbital hand sander, you have to deal with its substandard dust collection. I mean, if you are using it for a small to a medium DIY project, then the included dust bag is enough, and the produced mess will not bother you. But don't expect any more than that while using this in a large project because it is not meant to attach to any shop vac to ensure a cleaner workplace. At number 3, we have the SKIL hand sander with pressure control, 792202. Most beginners and homeowners break their hand sander by applying unusual pressure while the machine is still running on a surface. Different hand sanders work differently, but added pressure steals the life out of those. However, to save the life of this palm sander, SKIL has incorporated a pressure control technology that warns the user when high pressure is applied. So, you are always assured that the pressure you are applying for is just the right amount. Its clear dust canister is a clever design as it eliminates the need for the repeated pause and check job for emptying the dust container. You can tell when it's full from outside and deposit the content when needed. It also is equipped with a built-in adapter to attach to any universal vacuum. As this one is always saved from high pressure applied by hands, I can't recommend it for aggressive hand sanding like removing paint or so on. For fine polishing and finishing, it works just right. At number 2, we have the Cubitron hand sander for automotive use, 60,440,236,564. Normal orbital or palm sanders are useless on curved surfaces of automobiles. Among countless automotive hand sanders, Cubitron is the best in class. It has three features of rotary, buffing, and random orbital motions to complete all your automotive sanding needs. You can clean up weld marks, blend edges, do feathering, paint finishing, buffing, and everything you can dream of. The low profile design and compact grip easily reach narrow spaces like door jams, bumpers, and headlights. It runs on air pressure and requires a compressor that can generate at least 90 psi. This unit costs a bit higher than other hand sanders, but the investment is worth it. Investing in it will save your bucks you are going to pay at the repair store for decades to come. And finally at number 1, we have the Metabo HPT Belt Oriented Hand Sander, SB8V2. 
This one is heavy, rough, and beasty. There is hardly any competitor for this one at this price point for aggressive material removing at a fast speed. The speed limit produced by the 9 amp motor is just right for doing any sanding job on any wooden surfaces. But as I said earlier, it is way too powerful, and one needs the practice to use it on sensitive projects. Without any added accessories, it can be attached to any dust collector. It has a good balance and the right ergonomics to use its weight and power correctly. Besides, it is also comfortable for use for a prolonged time without straining your hands. The main problem associated with belt sanders is, tracking and adjusting the belt. Luckily, there is a tracking window to help to do the nasty job of adjusting and checking the belt. I highly recommend using a high-quality belt with this model. Because a tiny sharp object is enough to ruin the paper while the belt sander is sunning with full force. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.